Hi guys, welcome back, or welcome for the first time actually, since today we're finally going to start on the UI portion of the Ideas app. Um, so, let's quickly go over the API that we created. Um, I did these first five things. I didn't implement WebSockets uh, just because I haven't found a good way to test a WebSocket connection without a UI. So we're going to do that first and then I'm going to return to the API and implement this part afterwards. And the front end that we're going to be using is Angular with NGRX. And as a disclaimer, I'm going to say that uh, the nature of this course is going to be a little more advanced. So if it's not your, if it's going to be your very first Angular project, I would definitely suggest uh, doing a crash course um, of some sort. But I will try to be as uh, beginner friendly as possible. And the emphasis is going to be on the NGRX portion of it, which is basically Redux for Angular. And uh, yeah, so let's let's get started. So first, you want to make sure that you have the Angular CLI. So you just do a npm g install at Angular CLI, and it's a kind of a good thing that I waited so long before starting this because Angular Seven just got released. So I actually need to install it myself. And this might take a while, so let's do that. Okay, cool. And then once you have the CLI installed, you just make a new project. Just do an ng new, um, let's call this ideas app. Oh, cool. So the, the new CLI actually has a little interactive wizard. Um, so would I like to add routing? Yes. And I actually always forget to change the styles. I'm going to go with SCSS and let that cook for a little bit. Oh, while that's doing that, uh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. So. Uh, before we get the API connected and all everything, we have to in enable cores so then our application can listen to it. And th that's uh, this sort portion right here. And this is in the main.ts if you're following along. If not, you can just fork this repo or clone it. And I added three uh, endpoints. So 42,000 is. Uh, Angular dev server, 3000 is a React dev server, and 8081 is the React native dev server. Um, for the GraphQL portion, UI, I haven't decided if I'm going to do React or React native. Uh, I want to do React native, but the native part is giving me issues to get started, so I might not. But we'll we'll see what happens when we get there. And it's successfully built. So let's uh let's open it up. What do I call this? Ideas app. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um I'm gonna add a couple things before uh before we do anything. I'm gonna change um the TS config a little bit. So I want to experiment with TypeScript paths uh, because Angular import statements gets pretty long. So we're going to first do at inv slash star to be an alias for this has to be an array uh, <coughs> source app. Uh, Source envi environments slash star and 
at app is going to be dot slash source slash app slash star. And that will make our import paths a little easier. And just to test it out, I'm going to go in here and change both of these to app app. And VS Code is really good, so it doesn't scream at us. So this is a valid path. Um, doo -doo -doo. That looks good. Um, let's try this again. And let's see if our application actually runs. So we're just going to do an ng-serve dash dash open. Alright, cool. So it works. Now let's oops. Now the next thing we're gonna add is the UI library. And I'm gonna go with Prime NG. Let's see, getting started. And we're just gonna need these two commands but I will actually want to where is it oh, it's over there. I actually want to use yarn so let's first of all kill the dev server really quick and we're gonna install everything through yarn which should overwrite our npm package lock do 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 this this is going to take a while, actually. Okay, cool. So the first thing we want is prime ng, and we also want prime icons. So prime icons. Let's see, what else do we need? And then we need to change our styles configuration to include all of these. And that goes in our angular.json in our styles. So I'm going to not overwrite our styles. Save. And I forget exactly what theme I like. I think it's Luna Amber, I think. That might be right. Um, that should do it. So if we're gonna reload this app, the styles are gonna be overwritten. And I think most of it's gonna remain pretty similar except for these links is gonna lose the underline so let's make sure that that actually happens so I'll just do an ng serve again and let's see if this is listening to our dev server if it's not we'll just do a manual refresh okay so yeah manual for refresh it is and there we go and okay so I guess that's this there. Yeah, this theme has the orange, which is kind of what I want. So that's Prime NG. See, the next thing we need is to add NGRX. So let's do that. NGRX slash, um, I believe it's store, and we also want NGRX slash. Store dev tools, and that's gonna go into our app module right here. Imports from ngrx store. Import from 
ngrx store oops, dev tools and I believe it goes here so store module dot for roots and store dev tools dot dev tools oops dev tools module dot instrument there we go and where's the wrong thing cool so see once that recompiles we can check if Redux is installed inspect go to your Redux dev tools and there it is uh, so NGRX is installed our Angular app doesn't blow up and we have the beginning of the theming happening so is there anything else that I want to set up in this video no I think that's good so in the next video I think we're gonna actually uh, write some code so I will see you then